everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be a full face of first impressions drugstore edition. I have filmed so many full face of first impressions videos. If you feel like binging some, I will link my playlist down below in the description box. I think I might have done one or two drugstore ones, but for the most part, I think they're like mixed slash high end. Um, so I have a whole basket here full of drugstore products that I haven't ever tried before. Um, some of them I feel like are newer products, but some of them are like older, <laughs> like they're pretty old um, and I just never got around to trying them so I'm really excited to do that today I've had these products set aside for like probably like a month or two so today was finally the day that I had some time to sit down and film this video the house next door to me is being renovated still I've been mentioning that in my last few videos um, so I'm sorry if you hear any crazy noises but I feel like for the most part you guys shouldn't be able to hear them but they've been doing saw things and I don't even know but <laughs> Anyway, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. I have my filming area set up in a slightly different position. I just got a new rug, and it doesn't quite fit right, so I'm going to have to play around with the positioning of my camera in my next few videos, but um, hopefully this works for you guys. So to start things off, um, we're going to do primer, and I will have as many of these products linked down below as I can. Sometimes I struggle linking drugstore products, but I'll try to use the Ulta website. I feel like they should have most of these products. Um, so I have a new primer foundation. I have new everything, I think. Um, and I usually don't like to do that. I usually like to have either my foundation be consistent or my primer be consistent just so I know how things work. Um, so I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to figure out, this is the primer that I have to try. It's the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Um, but I don't know if I should try this out now or if I should just use one that I know I already like. I'm gonna go visit my primer drawer and I'll be right back. <laughs> so I just went and took a peek at my primer drawer and I came to the conclusion that I'm gonna try new everything today even though it's a little risky. We're just gonna go for it. Um, but I'm not gonna use the e.l.f. one. I found another primer that I have that I haven't tried yet. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Face Primer and um, this is a super crazy textured primer, but I haven't ever used it. It literally looks like clear jello, like it jiggles. Super weird, but I guess we're gonna try this out today. Oh my gosh, it's so like goopy and chunky. I don't know how I feel about that texture. <laughs> oh, it feels really nice. It's super like, I don't know. It feels like a jelly. It kind of feels like aloe. <laughs> Like, uh, when you, like, get too much sun and you put aloe on, that's kind of what this feels like. I feel like I put way too much product on because there's a lot of excess. <laughs> okay, that primer actually feels really nice. It's crazy because you, like, stick your finger in there and it gets all, like, chunky and weird. But, like, then a minute later it's, like, perfectly smooth again. Um, what is this even supposed to do? It just says it's a face primer. I don't see any claims on here. Um, it's in the shade Clear Canvas. I don't know if they have any other ones, but it has a slight tackiness to it. It's definitely, like, dried down, so it's not as, like, wet feeling, but there's definitely a tackiness there. I, I feel like I'm gonna like this. Okay, so for foundation, hopefully the shade matches me, but I, I guess we'll see. I picked up the Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. I have this in the shade 220 Natural Beige. On the bottle here, it says Digital Blue Light Filter. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean, um, but okay. It says it is a luminous natural skin finish, buildable light to medium coverage, and long wear. Okay, so I typically prefer a more full coverage foundation, but... I got an open mind. Um, the packaging is honestly really cute. Let me show you guys. Here's what the packaging looks like. I really, really like it. I am also a big fan of the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation, I think is what it's called. Um, that's like one of my go-tos. Um, so I'm just gonna pump some of this out onto this little palette here. Oh, it's thicker than I thought it was gonna be. Um, as you can see, I thought it was going to be like a super liquidy runny foundation. So that's about two and a half pumps. I'm going to take my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I feel like I'm going to need a lot more product, but we'll see. Not bad. This is a light to medium coverage foundation, but it does say it's buildable, so 
I am gonna try to go back in with like another layer to see if it gives me additional coverage. But oh my gosh, I feel like that's crazy. Like it doesn't even look like, okay, I'm out of product. <laughs> it doesn't even look like I have foundation on. That's insane, okay. I'm gonna go in with two more pumps. Now I feel like I have too much product. The shade is a little bit too light for me. You can see my natural skin color right there. Um, I have been going outside and going on bike rides a lot recently um, with Jarvis. And so I feel like I've gotten a little bit of sun that way, but oh. Okay, I need to look at this up close because I am shook right now. This honestly looks so good. Um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more on my nose and like through my little, this area, the the cross of my T zone area. Definitely that going in with a little bit more product definitely helped get rid of some of that redness that I had. Wow. I feel like it looks so natural. Like it's definitely not the flawless face because I do have a lot of hyperpigmentation and acne, but it's like, I feel, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'm going in. I'm gonna kind of like layer up a little bit right here just to see if I can get some more coverage. But honestly, this is like really nice everyday coverage for me. My Lily Beauty foundation is my favorite. It is $5, you can find it at Dollar General. Um, but it's definitely a more like medium to full coverage foundation. Um, and sometimes I just don't want to look like I have a full face of makeup on, you know, like I could literally just wear this foundation and then some mascara and be good to go. Loving the base. I feel like it's a little bit funky in my nose area, like in these little crevices. So I'm just gonna kind of press a little bit more yeah I feel like it looks a little bit funky on the nose but I mean everywhere else it looks really good so um so far I'm loving everything let me look at my pores my pores I feel like mm, they look normal they're not exaggerated they don't look bad my skin honestly looks super natural like I feel like this is a good good natural foundation I have like struggled to find a good natural foundation I tried the covergirl clean fresh foundation and that one was really good other than the fact that there was like chunky foam pieces in my foundation which i don't know what happened but i swatched like three shades they sent me the entire range of shades as pr and all three of the shades that i swatched had this chunky foam stuff in it so um if you haven't seen that video i will link it down below i reviewed the entire clean fresh line um but I feel like this one's really nice and it has like a nice satin finish like it's not dewy it's not matte you can definitely still see a glow to my skin but it doesn't feel wet like I feel like it's nice and set on my skin so I feel like I could touch my skin without like immediate complete transfer so now we're gonna go with some concealer for concealer I have two here from makeup revolution we have the conceal and define infinite long wear concealer and this says that it is crease proof with niacinamide infinite coverage huh? i have it in the shade c6 and then i also have this makeup revolution concealer in the shade light sand it's the ultimate coverage concealer with salicylic acid that's crazy they have like skincare kind of ingredients i think i'm gonna go with this one um it says 16 hour wear um 20 more coverage I have like the other Makeup Revolution concealer that's in a similar packaging. It's a lot smaller, but I really like that one. And I feel like this is kind of like an updated version of that because this is the Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. Um, this one, I'm going to swatch it anyway, but I typically don't use potted concealers. And since I we have like a natural vibe going on, I feel like I shouldn't um, go in with like a super, super intense concealer. But I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> This is the Concealer and Fix from Makeup Revolution. The packaging is super cute. By the way, Jarvis did my nails the other day <laughs> um, because I, my, I've been complaining about my nails because they look so bad and I can't go and get them done. Um, so he was like, oh, well, I'll do it for you. <laughs> and then he tried and he was like, okay, you can do it <laughs> because it was a lot harder than he thought. But I was trying to tell him, like, it's not easy. Like, even for me, it's like, it's something that you have to learn with practice. Like, painting nails is not as easy as it looks. 
So this is the shade, whoa, that's light. This is the shade Light Sand. Does this have a number? Let's go ahead and swatch it and it's gonna kinda, oh my gosh. That is super light, um, super pigmented and full coverage and it's kind of thick. Then going over to the Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer in the shade C6. I'm just gonna kinda do a little swatch there for you. This one is um, a bit darker and it has more of a yellow undertone. I feel like this top one is more neutral to cool toned maybe. I guess I'm gonna go in with this one and just see what happens. I'm just gonna use like a little bit. We'll start with a little bit and then we'll add if we need to. Going back in with my Miracle Complexion Sponge. And I'm just gonna blend this out. Ooh, I like the shade. I'm somebody that likes a concealer that's a bit lighter. Um, not like too, too light, but I definitely like the highlighting property of like a brightening concealer. I can still see like a lot of darkness shining through, which I normally never like notice darkness under my eyes, but I can see like a cool tone kind of blue hue poking through. Also, I just feel like it kind of like gathered in weird areas. My nose is also looking a little funky from that foundation. Everywhere else it looks great, just the nose and then my under eye area is looking a little rough. Going in with a little bit more product definitely helps with the coverage. I feel like the coverage is definitely there. I just, I still don't like the way that it looks. I feel like it looks pretty good on camera, but in person it looks super cakey and there's product kind of clinging together, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but we're gonna keep it moving. So for powder, I have this Flower Beauty powder, which has ridiculously large packaging. This is their Miracle Matte Powder, and it's a translucent finishing powder. And it has this massive packaging, and then you open it up, and the inside is literally so small. Like, the, the product only goes about halfway up, and then it's like so tiny compared to the large packaging. I don't know, it just seems very ridiculous and unnecessary, but I'm just gonna take my Miracle Complexion Sponge and tap right into here. Typically, I don't actually use these super fine, like translucent powders that like you tap your sponge in and then it like disperses everywhere, you know what I'm saying? I like a more, oh, it smells funky. <laughs> I like a powder more like the Huda Beauty powder or the Milani Fit Me or the Jeffree Star one. That is so bizarre because I just put the powder on and I cannot see it on my skin in person. I was like, wow, that like didn't like leave a white cast at all. And then I just looked in the viewfinder and I was like, whoa, gosh. Okay, so that's something to note. Um, like I literally, I can see this right here, this like powder right here, but I can't see it anywhere else. That's insane. I'm gonna take my Bling Brushes F1 and just kind of like dust over everything. <laughs> oh my god. What is happening? You guys, I'm scared. I like, I kid you not, I cannot see any of that in real life. I'm like scrubbing with my brush. That's tragic. <laughs> Things were going so well. Um, well, it's good to know that this is not good. Um, Dang, that is insane. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can look at my nose and see how horrendous it looks. Like, I don't know if it's ever looked worse. Hopefully you guys can see that. Also, this white powder, like, that's horrible. <laughs> I don't even know like how to fix this. Like, do I keep, do I put the powder on the rest of my face? Like. What, what am I supposed to do? Well, I guess we're just gonna move on to bronzer. So for bronzer, I have this super cute CoverGirl palette. This is the Peach Punch Highlighter Palette, and it has a highlighter, a blush, and a bronzer. The packaging is so freaking cute. I absolutely love it, and it says that it's peach scented. So let's give it a sniff. Mmm, definitely peach scented. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go in with my F3 from Blinged Brushes. 
and I'm gonna go right into the bronzer shade here. This like totally, I just like realized this, this totally reminds me of that Too Faced Peach palette, the like trio, you know which one I'm talking about? I love that palette, I haven't used it in forever. But, ooh, I used to use that like every single day. I don't even know if they still sell, do they still sell that? I definitely brought this down way too low. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline powder. This is the Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Fair. I'm just gonna, where's my sponge? I'm just gonna go in with this powder on top of where I put the translucent one just to see if this helps anything. It'll probably make things worse, but we just, I feel like I need to try something. Nope, that didn't help anything. Um, I can't even like take myself seriously. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my bronzer brush and literally Literally putting bronzer on my under eye area doesn't fix the problem, so. Man, I had such high hopes. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna move on to blush. I'm gonna go in with an F4. And actually, okay, so there's the center blush here, but I also have another one. Um, I feel like this might be the same color. Let's see. Do they look? Oh, no. This one's like peachier and more shimmery, so I'm gonna go in with this one. Ooh, I really like that blush a lot. I love warm tone, kind of like peachy pink blushes. And it has a little bit of shimmer, and it smells good. Now we're gonna move on to eyes, so I'm gonna zoom you guys in a bit, and then we have some fun Milani palettes to try out. We have this one, which is the Hyper Pigmented Eye and Face Palette. Which one is this? Rich? No? We have like the jade one and then the violet one. Since I don't have a new drugstore eyeshadow primer to try out, I'm actually going to use that potted Makeup Revolution concealer and I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of this and I'm going to put this all over the eyelid. So we could either go super like green and gold or we could go like purpley blue. Um... I feel like I haven't done green in a while, so I think I'm gonna use this one today. I'm gonna start by taking a Bling Brushes E3 from the Rose Gold Collection, and I'm gonna go in to, let's go into the shade Mint Julep, which is this like seafoam green kind of color. Super powdery eyeshadows. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that, but I just tapped my brush into the eyeshadow and a bunch of kick up occurred, so. Um, I'm just gonna take this shadow and run it through the crease just to kind of give us a baseline of where we want our eyeshadow to go. That eyeshadow is actually really pretty. I feel like I can't, I cannot see it in the viewfinder, like at all. But in person, it's really pretty. It's um, not like super intense, but it has nice even pigmentation and it's really easy to blend. Now I'm gonna go into the shade Jaded, which is this shade here, and I'm gonna use that same brush. And I'm also gonna go into the crease. Once again, super powdery eyeshadows. But they do blend really well. And they're pretty dang pigmented. This eyeshadow color is so pretty. Like, that's so pretty. Now I'm gonna dip into the tiniest bit of this shade here, which is called That's Deep. And I'm just gonna put this right in the outer corner here. All right, so, so far it's looking quite interesting. <laughs> now, um, let's see. You guys, I totally forgot to tell you, so. If you follow me on Instagram, you may already know, but I started streaming on Twitch. So I'm starting off by playing video games, so I have been loving playing Fortnite. I've, I know it sounds like so cliche, but like I've been a really big fan of Fortnite for a really long time. I used to watch it every single day before I went to sleep. I would binge Nick Merck's videos on YouTube. Like I loved watching him. He was my absolute favorite Fortnite player, and I'm still a big fan of him, but um, I 
started streaming I streamed for the first time last night and it was so fun it was so fun to hang out with you guys shout out to Morgan and Carolina um for hanging out with me for like a really really long time I think I streamed for like four hours and they were there like the entire time um so I think I'm actually gonna go in with Lagoon which is this really pretty kind of like glittery shade and I'm, I'm gonna take this on my finger and I'm just gonna kind of press it on my lid <gasps> that is so pretty oh my gosh it has like a blue glitter kind of like a green base with a blue glitter wow that's stunning there's a little bit of fallout but nothing too crazy so that's really nice Okay, loving that. But yeah, if you guys follow me on Twitch, um, I think the way it works is every time I go live, you will get a notification. At least that's what how it works for me. All the people that I follow, every time they go live, I get a notification. So it's like not like, I mean, it's easy to know, you know, when someone's going live. And I have it set now to, um, if I go live, I have it set to where it'll save for like a certain amount of time. Um, so in case you can't watch it right away, like you can always go back and watch it. If you want, I don't know. I'm just kind of trying something new. Now I'm gonna take this L1 from Bling Brushes and I'm feeling this shade right here. It's called the Envy Of. And I'm gonna take this and put it on the inner corner. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Now I'm just gonna go back in with that first brush we went into, it's the crease brush, the E3. And with whatever's on here, I'm just gonna kinda run that along the lower lash line, if that works, mm, not really. Um, so I'm gonna go back into Jaded, which is this second shade that we went into, and I'm gonna kinda run this along the lower lash line, just to kinda balance the eye. I feel like that always makes things look so much better when you put like a shadow on the lower lash line. Okay, I don't know what it is about my camera, but in person my eyeshadow looks so good, but on camera it looks tragic. Like what is going on? Um, I guess we're just gonna keep it moving. Um, for mascara, I'm actually gonna go in with this. Uh, Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express Mascara and this is technically not a first impression because this was my favorite Wow, I was gonna say foundation then the word concealer came to my head my favorite mascara when I was in middle school and high school like I use this every single day. I went through probably like 20 tubes of this mascara It was like the only one I ever used um, So I recently picked it up again. It has like a huge like rubber silicone like spiky wand which normally I'm not into that I really like a fluffier wand kind of like the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara um so let's give this a go and see if it's as good as I remember like this was my holy grail this mascara made me like believe or like not believe in high-end mascara because I was like what's the point when I can buy a seven dollar Maybelline mascara so here's the difference between my mascara and I versus my non mascara eye. <laughs> all right so i gotta say the mascara is looking so good like i love it i love it so much <laughs> for lips i'm gonna go in with this lip liner from ColourPop. um i bought this at ulta it's in the shade bff and i haven't ever used these before but i know everybody loves like this particular one so let's give it a shot for liquid lipstick, I'm actually going to go in with this Maybelline uh, Superstay Matte Ink. I actually bought this in December. Jarvis picked it out for me. And I haven't used it on my lips yet. So I'm going to go ahead and... <gasps> that is literally my perfect shade. Oh my god. And then with this lip liner, are you kidding me? <gasps> and it smells so good whoa okay this is in the shade i'm gonna have to share this this is in the shade loyalist it looks like it would be like a lot paler and like kind of scary from the packaging <gasps> that's so pretty it's very similar to virgin by morphe but i feel like it's a little bit lighter maybe <gasps> i love that okay um and then i guess the last step that we oh i still didn't do my brows what am i doing <laughs> um for brows i have these rimmel Things. These are the Brow Pro Micro 24 hour pens. So I have the shades 
soft brown, um, dark brown, and blonde. That's soft brown. It literally looks green. Does that look green to you? Because <laughs> it looks green to me. Um, well, let's go with dark brown. <laughs> Kind of a weird green hue to it too, but we're gonna try this one. I'm gonna like spoolie my brows first. Um, but I've been noticing in some of my videos when I'm editing them, I feel like my like the product that I'm putting in is too warm toned. So um, I need to figure it out. Like the billion dollar brows one. This one right here, it's the Universal Brow Pencil, but when I was editing the video that I used this in, I was like, oh my god, half of my eyebrow is like red, and then the inner half is like super cool toned. So, I normally like a pencil. I'm not really into the whole marker thing, but we'll give it a go. I feel like it doesn't look bad. It's very natural looking, not as like clean as I personally like it. I don't have a, a like a new clear brow gel to try out so I'm just gonna use this essence one this is the lash and brow gel mascara I like this all right I think it's pretty good definitely doesn't compare to my Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel that's my go-to um, I love that one so much this one is like I don't know it's a little bit like more goopy but it's still pretty good for the price I like it better than the elf one um, I used to use that elf one all the time like the clear the double-ended clear elf one uh i like this one better than that but not as much as my abh and then i guess the last step is going to be highlighter so uh, i have a couple of options i have the highlighter from this palette here which i'm sure this is beautiful but i kind of want to try this other one let me swatch it it's actually pretty powdery feeling very um you can definitely see it but it's not super blinding i feel like it would look a lot i don't know I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, for highlighter, I'm going to go in with this After Sex Glow Halo, Hello Halo Blush Lighter from Wet n Wild. We've got the gold side and then like the peachy side. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is, that's a highlighter. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm going to take my Morphe highlighter brush. Hello. My camera battery's about to die. Um, but I'm going to go in with the gold side on my Morphe M510 and then hello <laughs> there we go to finish things off I'm gonna set the face with some setting spray this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist I haven't tried this but I have heard really good things about it I also have the Pretty Fresh concealer and the like tinted moisturizer to try out so I'll do that soon Ooh nice mister this is it smells kind of like coconut all right so here's the final finished look i feel like this was very um like it was a toss-up um we had some really good things and some really bad things so far i feel like the primer i really like this primer i'm really excited to try this out with my believe beauty foundation it's so interesting and I actually really like the texture that it gave my skin. It kind of reminded me of the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So um, if you really like that one, maybe consider trying this out and seeing if it's comparable to you um, because it's definitely a lot cheaper. <laughs> so this was a hit, I think. The foundation, I'm like iffy on. I feel like it looks beautiful on my skin everywhere except for my nose. Something went weird on my nose here. So I'm gonna have to play around with this just to see. But other than the nose, this is beautiful. I absolutely love it. I feel like it gave my skin a very nice natural finish. It definitely gave me a good amount of coverage. You could definitely go light coverage, but I feel like I got a nice medium coverage out of it. So I'm excited about that. Um, don't love the concealer uh, based on my first impression. Uh, I like the original one better. I prefer the original to this. Um, this one I used only on the eyes, but I feel like this could be really good if you like a full coverage, like thick <laughs> potted concealer. I feel like this may be a good option, but I'll definitely have to keep playing with that. The brows, <sighs> okay, well the green one is def a definite no. So um, the shade dark brown is the one that I ended up using. I feel like it's nice, it's nice and natural. Um, 
I, I would use it again, but I don't know that I would specifically like recommend it for you guys to go out and try. Oh, we completely skipped over the powder, like the most, the worst thing in this whole entire video. This is absolutely horrible. Um, at first I was thinking, was I not supposed to apply that with a sponge? Like maybe that's why, but even when I applied it with a brush, it did the same exact thing. So this is a definite no-go for me. Like I am immediately <laughs> getting rid of that. I feel like this bronzer blush highlight palette is really cute. I like the way it smells, but I don't love the color. I feel like it almost has like a green tone to it. I don't know. It's like there's the ba the undertone is a little bit off for me, I feel like. Um, I didn't use the blush or the highlighter, but I swatched them and they didn't look too impressive. So I feel like I'd personally pass on this one. The, the blush though is super cute. This is in the shade, did I tell you? This is in the shade Peach Punch Blush. This one, I really do like that. The highlighter is really pretty. Like I said, this is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of the Mega Glow highlighters, um, but I like that it's a split pan and it has like a blush and highlight duo. Didn't use the blush on the face, but the highlighter is really pretty, so I definitely want to look and see what other shades of that they have. Love the mascara. That's like an old favorite of mine. That's so crazy. I'm glad that I still like it. I feel like the setting spray is really nice, and then the eyeshadow palette I feel like is really nice. I got these on sale for really cheap um i feel like they might have been like mm, five to seven dollars or something like that um but i know originally they're pretty pricey so um i feel like they worked really well for especially for drugstore eyeshadows i feel like these are some of the best drugstore shadows that i've used um so i think that's it <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up i planned on filming a couple other videos today but i'm gonna have to take this makeup off and redo it which is so annoying <laughs> but it's fine um some videos you can look forward to are the uh, trend mood box unboxing volume four i just did the ula henriksen one and that one has a giveaway that will be linked down below and then um, I planned on filming my very first purchase or pass, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, anyway, <laughs> I love you guys so, so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!